Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the movie Full Metal Jacket. Now, this should be fun. It's another legendary war movie. And uh, because I'm working my way down the list, I've seen um, Saving Private Ryan now. I've seen uh, Lone Survivor, uh, Hacksaw Ridge, um, Black Hawk Down. This was next on the list in terms of war movies. And it's, it's directed by Stanley Kubrick, who also directed uh, A Clockwork Orange, which is another legendary movie I need to see. It's got Vincent D'Onofrio, who I really like as an actor. He was, um, I think he was in Of Mice and Men. Was it Of Mice and Men? No, he, he was in um, Daredevil. So he played the Kingpin and I really liked him in that. Um, I just, yeah, I've really, really got good expectations for this, you know. It's got a, a very, very interesting looking cast, some names that I recognise, you know, a, le a legendary movie director, so hopefully it lives up to the expectations, lives up to the level of the movies that I've just mentioned, you know, the likes of Saving Private Ryan and Co. So yeah, let's do it. Kiss me goodbye and write me while I'm gone. Interesting song choice. Goodbye. Wow. Hello Vietnam and they're getting their head shaved. Okay, so this is like, they've just joined. This is like boot camp, I think. Wow, I, I mean, I, w I wonder what's going through their mind, you know. This is it, like I'm really in the army. Crazy. I wonder how many heads those barbers cut, you know, on a daily basis. Potentially like hundreds, right? These actors are really getting their heads shaved right now. I, I really, I like this. It adds to the realism. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be served. <laughs> filthy sewers. You are nothing but unorganized, <laughs> grabastic pieces of amphibian shit. Oh my God. There is no racial bigotry here. I do not look down on niggers, kites, Wops or green. <laughs> wow. What's your name, scumbag? Sir, Private Brown, sir! Bullshit, from now on, you're Private Snowball. Private Snowball? <laughs> that you, John Wayne? Is this me? Dude. Why did you say that? The shit, you look like a fucking worm. I bet it was you. Oh, sir, my no, God. Sir. sir, I said it, sir. Yeah, you can't let him take the blame for you. You can't let him do that. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <laughs> Ooh. I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. <laughs> <laughs> you're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. What's your name? Why is he smiling? From now on, you're Gomer Pyle. Sir, yes. Pyle. Do you think I'm funny? Sir, no, sir. Then wipe that disgusting grin off your face. Mm. Exactly three fucking seconds. Oh my god. Wipe that stupid looking grin off. Pile. Or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. Oh my god. Two, three. Pile. I can't help it. Oh shit, get on your knees, scumbag. Oh, pile. You've made an enemy already. Now choke yourself. Choke yourself. Damn it with my hand. I'm not. <laughs> Bullshit, I still can't hear you. Sound off like you've got a pair. Oh my god. He doesn't look. Come on, let him go. Oh, pile. Oh. The United States Marine Corps Recruit Depot. An eight week college for the phony tough and the crazy brave. The phony tough. Wow. This is what she said. Mama rolled over. This is what she said. Ah, shoulder. Huh. Pile. A oh, pile. No. Uh, what are you trying to do to my beloved car? Sir, I don't know, sir. Oh, oh God. Then you did that on purpose. You want to be different. No. Sir, no sir. <gasps> oh, my God. Sure, Private Pile. He sir, slapped sir. him. Oh. It's our right side, sir. Don't fuck with me again, pile. Oh my god. He fully slapped him. Damn. The guy who's playing this drill sergeant is nailing the Oh no, pile. 
Oh, God. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. Because this is the only pussy you people are going to get. <laughs> Old Mary Jane Rotten Crotch. <laughs> Mary Jane Rotten Crotch. <laughs> oh. Wow. So even getting in bed is regimented. This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Wow. Left shoulder. Come on, boys. No mistakes. Pile, please. Four inches from your chest, pile. Four inches. Uh Oh god, he's giving him a super hard time. But it'll make him better. It'll make him better. I love the 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 grab. <laughs> Kinda makes me want to do this, honestly, like. But I I know better to be honest. Until they can get this obstacle down to less than ten fucking seconds. Ten seconds? All of that in 10 seconds? Is that even possible? I mean, this would get you in tremendous shape. Come on, pile. Come on, pile. Nail it. Nail it. Oh. God wanted you up there. He would have miracled your ass up there. Oh, pile. But I mean, wouldn't pile like have lost a ton of weight by now? I don't think they're they're feeding them that much, are they? One pull up, pile. Come on, pull. You gotta be shitting me, pile. Oh man. You are a worthless piece of shit, pile. Damn. Is pile gonna make the cut? Cause I mean, they do get assessed, don't they? Are you quitting on me? No, come on, pile. You've got more in the tank. Move it. I'm gonna rip your balls off. Oh my god. I will motivate you, Private Pile! I guess, you know, he can't give Pile any preferential treatment. Were you born a fat, slimy scumbag, you piece of shit, Private Pile? But to join the military, don't you need to do fitness tests before you get in? I mean, yeah, this ain't easy. But you've got to, you know, be ready for what the war's going to, you know, throw at you. At least the other guys in this platoon or in the unit are, you know, helping him out. I'm a joker. Do you believe in the Virgin Mary? Sir, no, sir! Oh dear. He doesn't look happy. Sir, the private said no, sir, sir! Why, you little maggot? You make me want to vomit! Ooh! Sir, the private believes that any answer he gives will be wrong, and the senior drill instructor will beat him harder if he reverses himself, sir! Ah. Snowball, you're fired. Private Joker is promoted to squad leader. Really? Private Pile, from now on, Private Joker is your new squad leader, and you will bunk with him. Interesting. Now you ladies carry on. Interesting. Interesting uh, management there from the drill instructor. The left one, over to the right. The right one over to the left. Because, yeah, I thought that they, they were some basic tests that you had to do before you got into boot camp. Like some fitness tests, some mental sort of arithmetic type things. Let's pull the next one over. And you're home free. You can do it. Come on. You can do it, pile. Atta boy. There you go. Almost there. Boom. All right. There you go. Nicely done. Nicely done. You pulled the blanket and the sheet back together. You know, well done, uh, Private Joker. He's really, you know, stepping up here. Yes. He's starting to catch up. Yeah. Look at them all. Just perfect unison. I love working for Uncle Sam. Let me know just who I am. I love these chants, man. When I go for my jogs, I'm going to start, like, chanting to myself. <laughs> One, two, three, four, I love the Marine Corps. Your Corps. Your Corps. 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 Marine Corps. Marine Corps. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Eskimo pussy 
Dusty is mighty cold. <laughs> Why is your footlocker unlocked? Sir, I don't know, sir. Private pile, if there is one thing in this world that I hate. Oh, no. Well, no. Now, let's don't just see if there's it. anything missing. Oh, my God. What the fuck is that? Oh, is he hiding food? Sir, because I was hungry, sir. Because you were hungry. Mm. Oh, man. I have failed because you have not helped me. Oh, God. Is he going to punish everybody else? Whenever Private Pile fucks up, I will not punish him. Oh, my I God. I all of you. Now get on your faces. No. One, oh, gosh. Two, three, four, five. Pile. I, I know. Jelly donuts are delicious, but come on. I mean, what is, what's up with Pile? Is he, is he just a bit slow? Like, what is it? Everybody hates me now. Even you. Hmm. They just don't want you to mess up anymore. Yeah. Stop messing up. I'm trying to help you, Leonard. I'm really trying. He is, to be fair. He really is. He stepped up. Two, three, two, three. Oh god, he messed up again, didn't he? What the fuck is about to happen? Oh my god. Dude, what is happening here? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Not Joker, Joker. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Remember, it's just a bad dream, bad boy. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I feel so bad for Pyle. Man, they could have busted his ribs. Oh. You know, I can't blame him for being really annoyed at Pyle, but dang. That was really, really harsh. Super five, do or die, gun-ho, gun-ho, gun-ho! He's... He's not saying anything. Charles Whitman killed 12 people from a 28-story observation tower at the University of Texas. Oh, my God. Anybody know who Lee Harvey Oswald was? Sir, he shot Kennedy, sir! That's right. Hmm. 250 feet away and shooting at a moving target. Wow, that's crazy. Do any of you people know where these individuals learned how to shoot? Marine Corps? Sir, in the Marines, sir! Wow! Those individuals showed what one motivated Marine and his rifle can do. What's happened to Pyle? Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Oh, it was Christmas. God has a hard on for Marine. <laughs> I love this guy's analogies. We keep heaven packed with fresh soul. Wow. That's one way to put it. Sir, yes, sir! I can't hear you! Sir, yes, sir! Uh, okay, it looks like Pyle, you know, now he's fully... Even though he doesn't look happy, he's in the zone. So that it slides perfectly. Is that just how, just like how Joker taught him, right? Good job. Does he feel bad? He, he probably feels bad, doesn't he? I wonder what he's thinking, like, is he proud or is it regret? Leonard talks to his rifle. Mm. It's his only friend, isn't it? Yeah, he probably feels like this is the only thing he can trust in there. I think Leonard's a section eight. What's the section eight? I want to slip my tube stick into your sister. Eh? Is he doing well? Outstanding 
Private Pyle, I think nice. we finally found something that you do well. Nice. Well done, Pyle. Good job. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> you slimy scumbag, get on your face and give me 25. Oh, Joker. What's going on? What's the idea looking down in the chamber? Sir, that is the guarantee that the private is not giving the inspecting officer a loaded weapon, sir. Mm. Hell, I may even allow you to serve as a rifleman in my beloved corps. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, pile. Get in there. If I die in the combat zone, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. me up and ship me home. <laughs> and ship me home. They are ready to eat their own guts and ask for seconds. <laughs> wow. The Marine Corps wants killers. Mm. Men without fear. Wow. The real deal. Today, you are Marine. Wow, they made it. Wherever you are, every Marine is your brother. Mm. Toe jam. Sir, yes, sir. All 300 infantry. Infantry means they're going to... You go out and find mines. Cowboy. Sir, yes, sir. All 300 infantry. Taylor. Sir. Infantry means they're going to fight. Homer mm. Pyle. Sir, yes, sir. You forget your fucking name. All 300 infantry. You made it. Wow. Perkin. So Pyle is going to fight. Our last night on the island. I draw fire watch. Gosh, what's he going to see? Is it, like, whenever they... This music just feels really ominous. Last time, Pyle got beat up, so... Hopefully it's not gonna be a repeat of that. Hmm. What's going on? Gosh, what is he gonna see? What is he about to see? What the heck? What the? He looks deranged, man. Hi, Joker. What the fuck? This is super weird, man. The way he said that. Seven, six, two millimeter. Oh my God. If Hartman comes in here and catches us, we'll both be in a world of shit. What are you doing, Pyle? I am in a world of shit. But why, though? You haven't done anything yet. <gasps> Lock and load! Oh my god. Dude, what are you doing? There are many like it, but this one is mine! Dude, I think they need to get him out of there. They need to get him out of there. Why is Private Pyle out of his bunk after life? God, what is he about to do? It is the private's duty to inform the senior drill instructor that Private Pyle has a full magazine and is locked and loaded, sir! Mm. Oh my god, this guy does not look right in the head. We'll place that rifle on the deck at your feet and step back away from it. Oh god. Oh god. Didn't mommy and Is daddy he gonna? give you enough attention when you were a child? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, pile, no! No! Oh my god. Go easy, man. Oh man, how do you, what do you do? What do you do? Do you charge at him? Why did you do it? Oh god, no, no, no! Oh. Oh my god. Oh, no, nah, this is, uh, disturbing. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I did not see that happening. 
Oh, Leonard, man. You got They're a in... girlfriend, Vietnam? Oh. Well, baby, me so horny. <laughs> Fifteen dollars for both of us. No, it's you Fifteen dollars. Me love you long time. Wow. What do we get for ten dollars? Everything you want. Wow. Ten bucks. The other half of got TV. Oh my Be sure goodness. you only fuck the ones that cough. <gasps> oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <gasps> he just lost his camera! Damn, they caught him slipping. I'm still in shock about Pyle, honestly. I was really hoping things would, you know, turn around for him, but no. I've been in country almost three months, and all I do is take handshake shots at a war. Oh yeah, because these guys are both journalists, aren't they? A Bruin intelligence says Charlie might try to pull off something big during the Tet holiday. Charlie, that's the Viet Cong, isn't it? Chile, if we move Vietnamese, they are evacuees. If they come to us to be evacuated, they are refugees. It's interesting, that one guy wanted to get out of this place, but you'd think that a lot of Marines would want to be here because they're not, they're not going to be in the field. In the future, in place of search and destroy, substitute the phrase sweep and clear. Sweep and clear, mm, got it? Wow. Sounds a lot more humane, doesn't it? In combat action that results in a kill, winning the war. Mm, I see. So these guys are like the spin doctors? Maybe you should go out on some ops yourself. Joker, just do your job. As it happens, my present duties keep me where I belong. In the rear with the gear. Uh, I mean, Joker does have, you know, a fair point, but you don't want to seem like you're, you know, questioning the chain of command. I gotta get back in the shit. I ain't heard a shot fired in anger in weeks. <laughs> you know he's never been in the shit because he ain't got the stare. The stare? The thousand-yard uh, stare. Yeah, that staring off into the distance. And he stopped five black dudes from raping a white chick. Fuck you, Stork. Throw him a basketball. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Oh, God, are they under attack? They're not going to what I just think. Here we go, boys. All hands on deck. I hope you haven't forgotten your training. Oh my god. Oh, they're actually getting invaded here. Have they taken them all out? Gosh. I mean, just earlier they were talking about how some of them want to see action and stuff, but... As very deceitfully taking advantage of the Tet ceasefire. Oh, I see. The United States Embassy has been overrun by suicide squads. Oh, shit. oh no. We also have reports that a division of NVA has occupied all of the city of Hue south of the Perfume River. These things are not looking good, eh? And we've heard even Cronkite's gonna say the war is now unwinnable. Unwinnable, damn. Does this mean that Aunt Margaret's not coming? <laughs> Dude, are you cracking jokes? Joker, what the hell? Is this the time? Permission to go with Joker? Permission granted. Thank you, sir. Sir, permission not to take Rafter Man with me? Oh my god. Vanish, Joker, most Ricky tick, and take Rafter Man with you. Honestly, I wouldn't want to have Joker working under me. He just seems like a real, you know, ugh, kind of annoying. Gosh, look how dense that uh, jungle is. You could easily get lost in there. Oh, dude, you all right? Nope. <laughs> He's about to lose his lunch. Oh my god, no! Damn! Are those civilians? Oh my god! Anyone who stands still is a well disciplined VC! Wow. 
Is he all right? I've done got me 157 dead goops killed. Wow. Ain't war hell. <laughs> wow. Unreal. Ugh. Doc, wanna get in the shit? Vietnam's quite a hot country too. So they gotta wear all that gear in the heat. Can't be easy. Is that Private Snowball? No, I don't think so. My people call me Mr. Touchdown. Play a little ball for Notre Dame. Mr. Touchdown, not a bad nickname. We got condition red and we're definitely expecting rain. Ooh. Condition red sounds pretty, uh... Joker's gonna see some stuff out here for sure. You know. Actually being in the field versus sitting at a desk writing stories, completely different things. That guy's covering his nose. Oh, what are they about to see here? Oh my goodness. The dead have been covered with lime. Why? Well, it seems the NBA came in with a list of gook names. NVA. They went around their houses real polite and asked them to report the next day for political re-education. Wow, how many photos does he need? I feel like he's taking the same one over and over again. Green, what is that button on your body armor? I mean, they told you to take it off. You write born to kill on your helmet and you wear a peace button. What's yeah. that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? Bit kind of con contradiction, isn't it? The duality of man, the Jungian thing, sir. Hmm. Why don't you jump on the team and come on in for the big win? Yes, sir. Ooh. We are here to help the Vietnamese because inside every gook, there is an American trying to get out. <laughs> wow. Man, imagine living in a, you know, an area like that. Just soldiers and tanks and helicopters everywhere. Surely most of the civilians must have fled that place by now. Who's this guy? Oh, it's uh, is that cowboy? Holy shit! Yeah, oh my it's a joke. Ah, uh, they haven't seen each other in a while, I guess. Been getting any? Only your sister. Well, better must. <laughs> uh, who's this guy? No, I'm a combat correspondent. Oh, you seen much combat? Oh. Uh... Wisecrack. I'm gonna tear you a new asshole. Oh. Only after you eat the peanuts out of my shit. Are they gonna throw down? Do you walk the walk? Oh. I love the woes from the back. Oh my god. Roger, come on. Wow. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Settle down. Settle down. You're on the same team. Thank God for the sickle cell, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love the humor. I love it. Yeah, man. Oh, God. Take this. Oh, is that dude dead? He's dead, man. This is my bro. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What are we about to see here? <laughs> Dude, this is... He's the guest of honor. This is crazy. These enemy grunts are as hard as slant-eyed drill instructors. I guess this is what war does, man. It kind of can mess with your head a bit. After we rotate back to the world, we're gonna miss not having anyone around who's worth shooting. Wow. Gosh. I mean, this is war, eh? This is war. This is the thing. Action could spring up at any minute. You just gotta be ready at all times, just like constantly. Oh man, this is so tense. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he got hit. The lieutenant got hit. Oh my god, did he step on a landmine? What? Oh 
my god. What happened to him? We're going to stop here and check out what's in front of us. Oh Where? my god. You better stay behind the tank, man. Don't move! First and second fire team behind me up this other road, okay? Right, oh, okay. Let's go! Let's get it done! Hmm. <sighs> Genuinely terrifying, man. Just the unnerviness of not knowing where the, you know, the next barrage is coming from. Just... Okay, boys, I hope you're ready. They could be anywhere, honestly. They could be behind that bus. Oh God, oh God. Woo. They are spraying that place down. Boom, baby. Boy, save the ammo, save the ammo. You've already put like a thousand rounds into that building. Surely you must have got them. Surely, with the amount of metal you put in there. Oh gosh. And now you wait. Ooh. Oh wow, is that them? Oh! Whew. This is intense. Intense. Wow, because yeah, those those were his first uh, his first kills, right? Bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird. <laughs> oh, they're filming. Looks like they're making like a Hollywood movie. Wild. Imagine just chilling and, you know, a tank goes off next to you. Mm, the two casualties, eh? Imagine you were just talking to the guy a couple hours ago and then bang, he's dead. My word is poontang. Dang. I mean, yeah. I think a lot of people do see the Vietnam War as a... Uh, as a waste of uh, time, I think, some people say. The crazy fucker starts jerking off in the waiting room. Oh my god. When the shit really hits the fan, who do they call? They call Mother Green and her killing machine. Mother Green and her killing machine. Eight or 10,000 miles around the world to do a job that Asian boys ought to be doing for them. When he said LBJ, for a second I thought you meant LeBron James. I think you meant Lyndon B. Johnson, right? <laughs> LeBron. Okay, who are these two? Good morning, little school. The way she was walking there. <laughs> Sucky, funky, smoke cigarette in a pushy. She, give you everything you want. Long time. Everything. Long time. And never been fired and only dropped once. <laughs> okay, five dollars. You give me. Wow, five bucks from 15 down to five. Something wrong there, Chief? She said, no, boom, boom, we saw brother. Hey, what the motherfucker? Whoa. I think what he's trying to tell you is that you black boys pack too much meat. <laughs> wow. Buckle, <Joe> buckle. <laughs> oh my God. What we have here, little yellow sister, is a magnificent. Is he going to pull it? Fucking niggers must fucking hang. Oh, this dude is a psycho. Skip the foreplay. <laughs> Our squad is sent on patrol to check out the report. Oh my god! Oh my god! These random explosions, man. They, they get me every time. He ain't gonna make it. He gone. He gone. 
Because, I mean, do they have a doctor on their team? Like a medic? Craze is hit. Booby trap. Wow, cowboy. Talk about a baptism of fire. He's dead. Damn. And they probably won't be able to bring his body back, will they? We're here? Yeah. We should be here. Oh, man. Are they lost? Oh, God. Cowboy. You gotta, you're in charge here. You're going to have to fix this. Honestly, I wouldn't be like... I've grown up with Google Maps. It would be so difficult just to... You know, follow a map like that. Changing direction. What are we lost? Joker, shut the fuck up. <laughs> this ain't the time to ask questions, Joker. Hey, ball. Let's dance. Put a nigger behind the trigger. <laughs> These catchphrases are killing me. Oh man, stay low, stay low. Stay low, eight ball. Oh gosh. Is he gonna make it? Whew. I was convinced that someone was gonna pop him. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, oh no! Oh no! It was it was inevitable. It, it was inevitable. Ah oh, boy. Okay, listen up. Did anybody see a sniper? Did anybody see anything? Because a sniper's gonna be super low. You're gonna struggle to find him. Oh no! No, no, ceasefire, ceasefire. Oh man. This is Cowboy over. This is Murphy. What is your present position, over? He doesn't know. Our position is about a half a click north of checkpoint four. Believe Okay, he knows. Request immediate tank support. Over. Man, please send those tanks. Oh, eight ball. Eight ball's done. He's done. If they decide to hit us. We we'll have to pull back fast. Oh my God! We're not leaving him. We'll get him when the tank comes up. Dude, that could. Can't wait that long. Exactly. I've seen this before. Oh man. The sniper's just trying to suck us in one at a time. Oh God. This shit. I'm going in to bring him out. No, you sit there. Oh fuck. man, this is so difficult. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, get him. Quick, quick, quick. He's so far away. He's so far away. But they need covering fire. They need covering fire. How is he going to drag him all the way back without any covering fire? He's going to get popped. Oh! Damn. Dude, oh, this situation, this situation is just fucked. Give me that fucking radio. Gosh, they need support now, now, right now. Sorry, cowboy. No luck so far with the tank. No luck. Where are the planes, man? They had planes back in the Vietnam War. Can't afford to wait for the tank. I think they're gonna hit us any minute. Oh, jeez. Let's get ready to move. Yeah, well, we're not leaving Doc J and 8 Ball out there. Mm. We gotta go bring him back. Let's go get him. Let's do it. Stand down, mm. mother. That's a direct order. Oh, God. Oh! God damn. Oh, boy. Fuck all you assholes. Oh, God. Oh, man. His heart's in the right place, but you gotta follow the chain of command. Where's the sniper? I got a feeling he's about to get tagged too. Oh! Oh! Shit! Oh my god, this is wild. Oh. Man, get him. Get him. Ooh. He's got you in his sights. 
He has got you in his sights. I mean, he did tell you. Is he gonna go or is he gonna leave him? No dose, Stutton, Donlin, Rock. You come with me, we'll take a look. Rest you all stay put. Oh boy. Stay low, boys, stay low. He's probably perched right at the top. Or maybe in one of those uh where those holes are in the building. It's going to be impossible to spot him. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, cowboy. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, God. Where was he hit? My favorite turn. Man. Cowboy. Oh, cowboy. Hang on, man. Hang on. Nah, it doesn't look good. Fuck. Cough. Oh, jeez. He's he's gone. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, man. Oh, cowboy. Damn it. They're taking some hits, man. They've lost, what, five guys now. They need that tank support. Mate, he got... That guy got cowboy killed, really. Mother. His heart was in the right place, but... Okay. Jeez, man. Where are these guys? The, uh... The enemy... Here it comes. There's going to be fire. Or not. I thought the Vietnamese would start just spraying rounds. Oh, boy. Are any of these guys going to make it out? Ooh. No, he's out. He's out. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh God! Oh, did she get him? Did she get him? Ooh. Oh my God! You are lucky, man, Joker. Whew. We got the sniper! But it was. Is that the really the only sniper? Are you sure there isn't more? Because how did Mother really know? I think he was just kind of guessing. Oh, man. It's crazy, you know. They're all really just doing what they're told to do. Like, all of them. Oh, my God. Put her out of her misery, man. What's she saying? She's praying. Oh. Man. War. Is hell, man. What about her? What, do you want to bring her back? Let her rot. Oh, man. Oh, come on, you gotta, you know, put her out of her misery. I'm running the squad now, and I say we leave the kook for the mother-loving rats. Jeez, wow. I'm just saying we can't leave her like this. Oh boy, he ain't gonna take, he, he's not gonna listen. He ain't gonna care. Damn, this is savage. Waster. 
Come on. Just do it. Just do it. This is uh, pretty crazy. <sighs> Had to be done. I guess, you know, this is why he joined the Marines, you know. He, he said he wanted to kill. Joker, we're gonna have to put you up for the Congressional Medal of Ugly! <laughs> oh, is that cowboy's vo voice? It is, isn't it? We have nailed our names in the pages of history. Enough for today. We hump down to the Perfume River to set in for the night. What a scene. Look at this. Everything is just blazed. My thoughts drift back to erect nipple wet dreams about Mary Jane Rottencrotch. <laughs> I'm in a world of shit. Yes, but I am alive. And I am not afraid. Mate, all the stuff he went through would definitely leave a mark on you, wouldn't it? Ah, Paint It Black by The Stones. Great song. What a movie. Great movie, great movie. And I wanted painted black. That was interesting. Really, really like thought provoking, different from your typical war movie. It had a lot of uh, psychological aspects to it too. A lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of kind of um, surreal type scenes like really sort of uh, mind bending stuff. Like the like when um, uh, Pyle got caught by Joker in the toilet and um, you know, he was just sitting there stroking the rifle and that face he had and that prolonged shot of the camera on his face was really unnerving, really, really unnerving, man. And that whole story, the first half of the movie, honestly, I still kind of feel really bad for Pyle. Like, I think if he was, I think a very basic psych psychological evaluation of him before he joined boot camp probably would have ruled him out of action. He just doesn't, I don't think he was, I don't think he was really a, a good fit for the Marine Corps. But at, at the same time, I imagine that the Marine Corps needed as many people as possible at the time. It, it couldn't really afford to be selective about who they put into boot camp. Really great movie, the, like the music choices, the cinematography was fantastic, the pacing was good. I, I like this kind of length for a movie, two hours. It's got enough for you to really flesh out some stories, but not too long that it drags. Really, really interesting. Like, I do wonder if this is kind of Stanley Kubrick's style. I think Clockwork Orange, I've heard, has a similar sort of like a unnerving quality to it, which is something I definitely want to see. If I had to rate this movie compared to the other military movies I've seen, I'd give it a solid seven and a half to eight out of 10. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.